Here's a beautiful, elegant math problem. We have two positive integers, x and y. We know x plus y plus xy is equal to 186. How do we find x plus y and xy? What's really cool about this is we know this whole sum and we're going to extract each of these pieces and we aren't given any other equations. So it's not like to find x and y, typically you need two equations. We're only using one equation to find it. So how is that going to work? Let's dive into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the following very simple deceptive trick. We're just going to add one to both sides of the equation. We're going to say x plus y plus xy plus 1 is equal to 186 plus 1, which is just 187. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factorize. So we're going to get, we, we can write this as x plus 1 plus y times x plus 1 is equal to 187. Okay, so I literally just put the 1 to this side and factor the y from the y plus xy. And now we can factor an x plus 1 from this and get x plus 1 times y plus 1 is equal to 187. Now why have we done this? Well, basically the point is, how do you motivate this? Is you need to think about, since these are positive integers, that's going to be crucial. The problem would not have a solution otherwise. Okay, but because they're positive equa integers, one equation suffices, and we need to think about factorizations. So if we can somehow factor this and write it out in this way, we get this. Now we need to understand when can two numbers multiply to be 187. X plus 1 and Y plus 1 have to be numbers that are at least 2, because X and Y are positive integers. And now we know 187, you know, you can actually factor this out. It turns out to be 17 times 11. Okay, so 17 times 11, so how is it possible for two numbers to multiply to be 17 times 11? Another crucial point of this is that 186 was really special. The problem may not have a nice solution or any solution if it's some other number, because then there may be many possible values for x and y, and then x plus y and x times y. But in this case, because it's 17 times 11 and 17 and 11 are prime numbers, the only way you can have two numbers multiplying to be 187 is just 17 and 11 in some order, okay? So that means that x plus 1 and y plus 1 have to be 17 and 11 in some order, okay? It could be x plus 1 is 11 and y plus 1 is 17. It could be y plus 1 is um, 11 and x plus 1 is 17, okay? It doesn't matter. The interesting thing is those are symmetrical. So once you've got this, you know that in some order, x and y are going to be 16 and 10, okay? So x and y are 16 and 10, and I'm not putting respectively here because x could be 10, y could be 16, or x could be 16, y could be 10. But therefore, it doesn't matter what order when you're adding them up. So x plus y is going to equal to 26, and x times y is going to equal to 160. And that's so beautiful because, you know, you couldn't find x and y individually, but you could still find out those quantities. It's very special we had 186. Can you drop a comment down below for other numbers where you could write down this problem and share with friends and family, challenge them. You know, if they're interested in math puzzles or math, you can even make it simple for them. You know, if instead of making 186, you could choose a smaller number. Like if I took seven times five, seven and five are prime, I could make it 34 and then I could sort of do the same trick. And that in that sort of situation, you can actually try to guess and check. You can sort of guess what X and Y should be and still solve the problem. But that guessing method doesn't work when you have really large numbers. So you can make the number really large. You can ask them to solve that. And then you can ask them to solve an even more complicated problem where it's a product of two prime numbers that is really big. And then, you know, stump them and sort of see what they say. Drop a comment down below. What's some interesting problems? And if you shared with friends and family, how do they go? Super excited to see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. You know, check out my video, why there are infinitely many prime numbers. It's a beautiful math proof. It's going to pop up on the screen here. It's the exact way Euclid presented it. So many people present it these days, but they don't present it in Euclid style. I've done it in this video. I'll see you there. Wish you all the best. Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in that video.